from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Expect temperatures in the mid to upper 80s across the Bay Area today. Greg will have your full forecast coming up, but first, though, here are your ABC Action News headlines. 12 people, including a sheriff's sergeant, died in a mass shooting at a bar north of Los Angeles late Wednesday night. Deputies say the 29-year-old gunman deployed a smoke device inside before opening fire. Officials say hundreds of people were inside the Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks when the shooting began. He had two rounds that I know with him. He changed them within about six seconds, which was really fast. So he knew what he was doing. Um, and he also had perfect form. When I look back, he was like spot on. Officials say Sergeant Ron Helis saved lives by going in to confront the gunman. He was shot multiple times and later died at a hospital. Authorities still don't know why the gunman opened fire. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is in the hospital. A court spokesperson says she fell in her office at the court late night. Last night, she went home, but then later went to the hospital after experiencing some pain. Doctors discovered that she'd fractured three ribs. She previously broke two ribs in a fall in 2012. There are new concerns about your safety when you go out to eat after workers at two popular Bay Area restaurants tested positive for hepatitis A. State law does not require restaurant workers to get a hep A vaccine, so your best protection are those signs encouraging employees to wash their hands after using the restroom. This virus is passed on when an infected employee who doesn't wash then touches food. There's new regional, a new regional airline at Tampa International offering you an easy way to get to South Florida. Southern Airways Express is using a nine seat Cessna for up to three flights a day between Tampa and West Palm Beach. Passengers get to use the signature facility at TIA, meaning that you'll bypass the check in process and TSA screenings in the regular terminal. St. Petersburg is getting ready to host another IndyCar race. The 2019 Firestone Grand Prix is going to run through the city streets in just four months. This morning, three day weekend passes went on sale. They start at $55 for adults and 30 bucks for kids. Individual day tickets will go on sale later. All right, here's Greg now with a look at the forecast. Uh, looking really nice out there. Maybe you're heading out uh, to do some run some errands, or maybe you're thinking about maybe just spending some time in the backyard. Looks really nice. Temperatures in the 80s, slight chance of a pop up shower. A couple of scattered clouds. Humidity will remain high. The lightning in town today. The Islanders coming to Emily Arena and temperatures will fall back into the 70s this evening. Whether you're having dinner before the game or celebrating a win afterwards, the weather is looking really nice with temperatures in those 70s. The complete 70 forecast at ABCActionNews.com. Dia. All right, thanks, Greg. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Pedestrians, make yourself visible. Wear bright, reflective colors, especially at night, because safety doesn't happen by accident.